In order to connect your Magento storefront to the eBridge ePortal, there are a couple of simple tasks that must be completed. From the Magento Admin Dashboard, select System, Web Services, and Users to start. Normally you'd be adding a new user, but for the sake of this demo we already have one created, so let's open that. This is the same screen you would see when you add new users, so there's nothing different here. For the username, you need to enter API User, all one word. First name API, last name user. The email address can be whatever you prefer. And the last two fields are where you're going to enter your Magento API key. Now before moving on, there are two pieces of information that you'll need to record from the screen, as you'll need them later when working in the ePortal. Your username as API user, as well as the API key that you've entered are both necessary in the ePortal, so make sure you have those written down. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and save the user. The next step is setting up a role for the user. So again, go to System, Web Services, and this time we'll need to select Roles. Now again, normally you'd be adding a new role, but for the sake of the demo we have one created, so we'll open that. The role name should be eBridge Access, all one word. The next step is to assign the role resources. Now there are only two options here, All and Custom. So just make sure that that's set to all. And the last step is assigning the role to the user that we just created. So we're assigning eBridge access to API user. So just make sure that the box here is set to yes. And there's a check mark in the box beside API user. Once you've confirmed that, go ahead and save the role. And that's all you need to do within the Magento admin in order to connect to the ePortal. And again, be sure to record your username and API key as they will both be needed later.